Yeah, but I mean, and then it's for Vertigo to slip through their fingers as well. I think all of those things are true, but if you if you if you look at it in a slightly different light, that they just added JKS and almost took down the Vitality, then then they should probably feel pretty good. But you're right, actually, Andrews, because I mean, we were thinking about this, right? Where that was a complexity. Sure, they've got the honeymoon, they've got JKS. They almost took down Vitality, but then that was also a weakened Vitality. Because again, Vitality here messing around with Nivera, where they they basically yeah could be, half, could right? be yeah. So you Might had a full win that you exactly wanted. you had a Vitality on easy play. mode, or easier mode, right? And you still didn't manage to take him down. But then again, of course, JKS, you're right to mention him. There's that whole honeymoon period, but also yeah. you're still figuring things out with him. I think you can just you understand the Aussie accent. It's tough. You got two Danes <laughs> and an Australian on that team. I don't know how Rush does it. That is yeah. Just listen. Get him, <laughs> get him all to school. Have him all, you know, speaking some some version of, of English at some point. You know, make it work. Tizzy and an RPK traded out at long. So both of them down and out of the round. Twenty seconds, and I'm real nervous for Big here. This is this is not a lot of time. I think. I mean, you could obviously make it to the bomb site. That's not my argument. But anything goes wrong here, and you're not gonna have a chance to recover. Saibu. Casually turning around and taking down Centaurus and actually keeps going eight seconds on the clock and they are gonna get the bomb plant. I think Saibu thought he could, you know, just run up there and stop the bomb from being planted or entirely, which fair play if he'd got the killer already would have. Still a two on two. Nivira and Shocks are alive and yeah, he's judging out for uh, an AK instead. I can definitely appreciate that. See if he's gonna be able to do anything here. Shocks is rotating all the way out long and that he's got the kit as well. Mm. So if he dies long, Nivira is done. If either one of these guys dies in the next two seconds, it's done. I mean, that bomb, it's ticked down so far now. Shoxy has to run, and he gets in on Keto fairly quickly. Searson with the AWP. What? A shot from Shoxy. Still might not be time. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh that's wow. heartbreaking. Yeah. Still hits both shots, Shoxy. All right, so it's worth mentioning that Shoxy yesterday, he was fragging pretty hard. Yeah. Like, he had some big rounds for Team Vitality against Complexity. It was a joy to see. I'm a big Shoxy fan, and whenever Shoxy's popping off, you know, I'm, I'm grinning ear to ear. I think he won, like, three or four 1v1s against JKS on, like, almost on Vertigo alone. That that fair play was on the other side, JKS in one versus threes and fours mm -hmm. that he almost won, so... You know, but, it, but Shocks definitely was being annoying. Didn't JKS have two quad kills near aces? Yes, he yeah. did, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, that's, man, it's when it just gets so close and yet it doesn't work out. Oh, I like that. Smoke in the middle to cover the guy trying to make the pit. There's a little bit of pressure. Apex gets a punish on Sears and even saves that AWP. Triple AWP on Vitality. Just lacking two more and we're good to go. Oh! Nivira though, wanted to, to maybe make that work. Oh, that's a shot from Apex, that's blind. He gets another one for the smoke! Oh my god, we're gonna need to see that from his point of view. This was a lost round, If I can almost guarantee it. If Shox goes down in that position, there's no one that can help out at the bomb site. and suddenly Apex picking up two huge kills through the smoke and adding a third one onto that as well over from Long. That is really wild. Pick up uh, for Master in the meantime, and Centaur is stuck in there. Cyber will take him down, and Vitality finally getting the round that they maybe should have had in the last one here. That is crazy. Oh man, I can't wait to see Apex's uh, perspective. I wonder if they were if they were jumping, maybe as like a slight chance here, but nope, that one's just blind. And that <laughs> just pulls the trigger, and he does it again, doesn't he? Yeah. Oh, it doesn't even move. What a god. Well, when Lady Luck smiles, wonderful things happen. And I think that was uh, that was wonderful. He's like, you know what? I'm not even gonna do anything. I'm just gonna, you know, just let Jesus take the wheel. There you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh man, Tizian is uh, already down, and yeah, big because of the last round where they did win it, but no one survived on the side. That cost them a lot of money. So here we are with pistols and for vitality. It's obviously all about just keeping the economy alive, and they will do that just fine. So four to two. Economy looking much better on the CT side. Do you think Apex would be one of those guys who he says, uh, you know, if you said, oh, you got lucky, he'd be like, I create my own luck. Like <laughs> I, uh, the thing is, I feel like out of many of them, Apex is, hasn't inherited like quite enough of that French arrogance. I wish that like I that would be great if he did that. I would I would love it even more. But <laughs> it's interesting. But he's you such would a think an entry fragger would be yeah. a bit more in your face, right? Because yeah, you gotta have confidence to get in there. This was an anti eco, guys. That's why we're going off on a tangent. Uh, yeah. Hard eco from big. They get annihilated. Vital that very quick round, thankfully. But uh, it's a three to four. Big in the lead on the T side. 
But yeah, he, I, his personality doesn't really fit the role that he's playing. You're right. Not in that. Not in that sense. Yeah, Apex has always just been super humble, super low key. Yeah. Super cool. All right, just just friendliest guy in CS. It's crazy. Uh, well, next time we have a tactical time or a tech timeout, I'll I'll I have a story about Apex. Yeah. Well, All right. That I like. May have said it once or twice before, but I'm sure there are viewers that haven't heard. So. This is like Dad Anders at the yeah. Thanksgiving table. It is. You tell this story every year. Exactly right. <laughs> You know, it's, it's much worse when you forget yourself. You no, know, just going off. Let's we're not uh, we're not that old yet, Anders. Let's see. A little bit of Paris. Yeah, Tabs are also going down, and looks like RPK is going to be falling at long. So, definite trouble here. Apex taking out Keto. So a three on three. Still over a minute left, so everything should be just fine. But um, we'll see if they can find a way big to get back in it. They've already caused some economic damage. There's a lot of money on Vitality, so if they could get even just another kill, especially maybe on Cyber and get that all away, that would be huge. And obviously winning the round is the real goal. Ooh, and well, Tijin oh, opens it up. That is such good. Excellent teamwork. Super clean from big. They peek the angle together. Even if the op was there, you trade one for one, and you get control of long. Smoke wall goes down, and now it's all on Zaiwu, who's got one HP. He's got to die. Yep. Not a chance for him. And it's all on Nivera, the young blood. And well, I mean, it's a tall order. As the smoke's clear now, he's got to worry about multiple angles trying to move up onto the site. And it's looking like he is going to back off. And unfortunately for him, he cannot get that AWP as Zaiwu died on Catwalk. So, toast for him. We'll see if he can actually survive it. Yeah, indeed. I don't mind that he backed off. I think if you ever wanted to win a one versus three like that, the interval between your first and second kill has to be really almost instant. You have to make it from a you know one on three into a one on one very, very fast. Oh, and speaking about not saving the orb, he actually finds a way. That's creative and a little bit bold, but it works out just fine. He'll pick up that one. One to two, and um, sorry, one, two people left on big is what I was trying to say. Ninth round is coming up. That was the first kill from Nivira as well, if I'm counting that right. So maybe a little bit of a slow start. He was playing fine on, I think he was top fragging on this map last time. A little bit slow out the gate this time around, and we shall see. Time up being called by the T side. A chance to discuss exactly how to proceed in this. But yeah, that last round, I don't know, that could have been much, much closer. See how it plays out now. Oh, is he going to keep the orb or throw it over to his side? Yeah. Passing it along. Give it over. You think, oh, well, right. yeah, he's got, I guess, when you got money enough, <clears throat> just go ahead. Pick up one of your own. Go ham. I mean, we've seen quite a bit of aggression. Uh, we saw that yesterday from Nivera. He was trying to make plays versus complexity, which was really cool to see. Yeah. Um, and it's looking like he's trying to do more of the same here. We've seen a couple of pushes into other guard for him so far on that DB defense. So, you know, with an AWP in hand, why not? See if you can uh, see if you can get in there and catch big off guard. Flash into mid. A little bit of quicker information there. Keto clearing things out. Pretty standard setup here for Big. I mean, this is just a way to, to make sure that the CTs aren't pushing anywhere. You get that mid control. Like, this is just completely standard stuff. And they have so much time to figure out exactly where they want to go from here. Don't know if they saw anyone down middle, but I mean, apart from just preventing the CTs from, from doing aggressive pushes, normally you'd also want to find out a little bit about where they're standing around. I'm sure they could hear RPK jumping and running back and forth, so that's at least one player they know something about. But the more intel they can get from across the map, the better they will be at uh, hopefully coming up with a decent plan at the end of it. 55 seconds. I'm going to be smoking CT spawn and waiting for a reaction, which they're not getting any kind. No counter grenades, nothing really going on. Nobody even moving across the map. So Vitality standing still at the moment. I think another attempt here at, at putting a little bit of pressure on them. 35 seconds. Now they have spent a lot of time looking for a Vitality reaction, and they've got none. But that's kind of annoying. Like, I bet they wish that they could have had someone peek in somewhere as they were throwing these grenades out. And that hasn't really happened, so 
out the middle, but the bomb is on Catwalk, so the Chisol looks like a distraction. Kido is being sacrificed for the eventual A push. Saibudo will pick off one, and there's only 15 seconds. Nevira with a kill on Kido. So now, oh, he almost shot his teammate. A little bit too tuned up at the moment. It's Saibu, nine seconds. He's going to pick off one kill there, and Searson. Low on health, but Centaurus is going to be the one finding the bomb. Oh, and he's been spotted, and that should be the round. Nevira just has to stay out of the scope of Searson. That is so close, and... Oh, he survives with 10 HP! Dear Lord, that is close. All right. <laughs> I like how, uh, well, you know what? I can't actually make fun of that. Because Big look like they're playing out of a basement, but you and I are literally casting out of a basement. So we're all basement dwellers in the end. Like, recognize, like, I guess. I don't know. That's, yeah. Well, nothing wrong. No, we're, uh, we've, we've assumed the role of the basement dwellers. It's great. They've got a good have. life down here. <laughs> yeah. Can't complain. Isolated. But it is still big clan. Five rounds on the board. T side. Vitality trailing by one, four rounds. But it's looking like they're going to tie things up unless Searson can make some magic happen with his AWP. I like it. The bait. Yeah, a run boosted bait. Yeah, I like it. Peek together. Why didn't they? Why don't they peek together? Shoot, I thought that was the plan. Like get him on right side, and so they peek together, and that creates the opening. But Nivera is just gonna kill Searson outright. Yeah, that would have made sense, wouldn't it? Well, they recover the orb at least, so they can. They have another another chance. They gotta do a Henry. Another bite at the apple, Anders. I miss Henry. I have a terrible already. British accent. Yeah, well, we'll see him soon. Yeah, we will. Actually, we'll see him in a week. That, very much. That does make me happy. Hell yeah. I can't wait. Ooh. Apex. Going down. Saibu just almost, you know, pre-aiming that. He was saying, <laughs> you know what? Someone's going to jump down here. Doesn't it look like that? Yeah. It looks like he's just waiting. He knows exactly what's going to happen. Like, the, the guy's going to land there. Like, I've already triangulated the path. <laughs> I know where the... I know exactly where the destination is. Yeah, he's going to continue. No problems. Missed shot. I don't think it matters, really. He's got the backup in shocks here, and... Yeah, he's already been spotted out. So, Kido not going to take anyone with him. And that will be a fifth round for Vitality. I think they are well on the way to making a nice recovery. And it's not... I mean, again, it, it shocks inside with that combination. When they're playing well, you are going to be having a good game. Shoxy is the X Factor, though. I feel, for Vitality. Yeah, it feels probably. like he's always been the X Factor for Vitality. And at the beginning... I don't know, where it's like Shoxi always tends to get into that leadership role, and then he's, he's taking out of that fragging role. But uh, as I understand it now, Apex is calling the shots, right? That, yeah, I think so. Uh, I don't know if they, because in the past they would sometimes, uh, you know, they'd have shocks call like one yeah. map or, or like, you know, a couple of few things. I think he used to call pistol rounds on some maps and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I, I agree. Maybe the, the less... The less pressure you put on Sharks for those kind of things, I'm sure the more output you'll get in other areas, so... It feels like yesterday we saw a great Chauncey. Yeah. Uh, he was he was hitting shots, he was clutching, uh, he looked fantastic in the pistols, so I mean... This is actually really scary. Uh, these two people in the B-bomb side are in trouble. Side, we're going to be going down, RPK with the kill in the middle, and Sharks handling himself so well! Nice triple. That was uh, a situation that could have easily spiraled out of control, and they handled themselves quite well. Six to five. But yeah, I agree. Yesterday, shocks. Was, you know what's was so hard to believe? I still feel like many people, you know, will maybe have a, might have a hard time envisioning some of this, but sure. it's still not even peak shocks. Like, no. It's so ridiculous, you know. But, man, can you ever go back to, like, 2014 shocks or 2013 shocks? I don't know. I mean, that's that's a tall ask, isn't it? It's, it's definitely hard. Like, playing that well requires... I mean, look at Simple how much he... he puts into staying that good it the the upkeep on that kind of style is immense yeah um, that's why there's only a few guys who are capable of it yeah but yeah even yesterday sharks would be scary enough to be playing against all right messing that up and now <laughs> interrupted you had your chance you had your chance and uh they got fed up with it waiting around oh this timing on the he though Ooh. Oh, 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 that it's hard to get better than that. 
so devastating. And look at how much it helps out with the spray as well. It suddenly means, you know, instead of having the four bullets to kill someone, they could just do it in a little bit less, and it's going to be really uh, great. Simon with an easy frag there. Centaurus creeping in. I'm guessing he was ducking like that to try and avoid someone standing further back. And when he's further up, then it, you know, he's obviously just going to get killed immediately. So that's the risk you take. He's so brutally fast. I, he's yep. just so fast. That flick looked instant. It just looked like a p computer just tracking. Click gun. And there's Nivera eventually gets that jiggle peek from Keto. So seven rounds on the board now for Vitality. Four of those in a row. Yeah, so maybe seven out of the me. last eight, basically. You know, this is like the counter curse where I said, uh, you know, I think they're going to get smashed on this map. Yeah, you know, maybe maybe it's the it's the counter caster curse that's coming through here. It could, yeah, it could well be that uh, that that's what we're dealing with. I think maybe it's just Saibu. <laughs> he's feeling it. I mean, yeah, that's. But you're right. He's he's quick, but there's all, there is just also the confidence in his in himself. You know, if, like you don't see him falling back from a lot of fights and, and saying, oh, "I'll play it safe and." Maybe I should, like, you know, he's just going for it. And yeah. that's also just hard to deal with. Looks like we have a B rush with the Tech 9 and some other stuff going in. Could work if they get the first kill on the guy in the corner. Then I think uh, you, you're set up for something. Then the AWP will be alone. So that first uh, M4 or AK on Sharks, that is the real test. And if you're already getting the one kill, that's going to make it so much easier. Sharks. Two kills is plenty enough to make that all work. And if you're coming up with a nice little triple of his own, but even the fact that they got the first kill, just that immediately, much of the pressure is already off, so. There we go. Now, eight of the last nine rounds is what they're working on. Ooh. Did Apex get a haircut yesterday? Today? Like it. Looking like he's got a fresh cut. Can we get a comparisons? Yeah. That would be Production? sick. Can we get, like, we get a, you know, camera from Apex yesterday versus uh, today? I think he got a haircut. Just saying. One of those sliding pictures we should update. <laughs> Well, we're going to get that tactical timeout getting called here by Big Clan. A little bit of a discussion going on over on that side of things. He's playing better than he was at Apex, so maybe maybe the haircut has helped in some strange way that we don't know. He's, I, I just think that Vitality don't feel as challenged by Big Clan. Maybe not. That's, I don't know. That's hard to say. They've had some crazy results in this online era, Big, so... Sure, yeah, but I mean, they're, you know, they're German, right? So, I mean... Got a, yeah. It's an old meme. Yeah, old meme. Oldie but goodie. Uh, Sometimes you have to bring back the old memes. But, uh, you know, Vitality, I mean, I don't know, complexity, it feels, if I, if, if you measure it up, obviously it's just gut, but it's just, I feel like, I think a complexity, I feel like there's just heavy hitters on that team. Um, I don't know if Vitality are going to give the same respect to uh, Big. No, maybe not. I, or at least for now, they seem really confident. So I isn't at least. No, but I don't think he cares about whoever's on the other side. I don't think he really bothers that much. It's like the only thing maybe is, if it's simple, maybe he's like, all right. Mm. <laughs> Everyone else. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just putting words into his mouth here, guys. <laughs> Nivira, a little bit of a shot through the door to hit Tabson. That's going to be annoying. Oh, but they go for a check on Apex. Not quite in time. That's uh, pretty fortunate. I think actually there was a friendly flash that helped out uh, with the kill on Keto. So that's a bit unfortunate for uh, Big. 55 seconds, and it's a three on four. Again, they're up on the catwalk. This, that seems to be something they want to do a lot. I'm not sure it's really working. Centaurus trying to be the playmaker here, and I think that's a really good idea. You have to try something, and he's going to get the kill. Nivira missing the shot in the smoke. So now it's a two on three, and Centaurus has got the bomb site. Great play out of him. That's, that's what you need in a round like that. Sharks goes down. Haven't been haven't been calling Centaur's name too much. No, he's been pretty quiet so far this series. Two kills for him this round. I mean, he's been pretty quiet. I mean, well, to be fair, they're all sitting at seven. You've only got Tabson who's got ten frags. Otherwise, they're all sitting at seven frags over on the big side. Yeah. But this is the end of the streak. That's the important thing here is that Vitality, they managed to pick up five rounds in a row, Anders, and that's it. They got on fire and they burnt out. Happens, doesn't it? Even uh, even to the best of us. Burnt baguette. But, yeah. well, Nobody likes that. That's unless a good you're, way to ruin your morning. Unless you're barbecuing, then it's part of the experience, isn't it? Can you barbecue a baguette? Sure you can. All right. Uh, I mean, you'd have to get creative. Very creative. Pay close attention. I've, n I've never tried that, but what I but something French that I've always wanted to try is the uh, like the, the raclette they have, like the cheese. Ooh, like, yeah, buddy. 
But that's for the winter, right? When it's nice and cold outside. Listen, I don't care what time of year it is. I'm not that kind of cheese. You're, you're that kind of, <laughs> you're, you're a cheese any time of the day kind of guy. Yeah, it's, it's actually a passion that Bardolf and I share. Yeah. But uh, Bardolf has got good taste, man. He is a, he is a true gentleman. I know. It's, it's, uh, it's remarkable. He needs to, like, I don't know. He's the kind of guy that uh, when he makes his tea, even if he's alone, I imagine him using the sugar pins, you know, the, the pincer for the sugars, right? Of course. Yeah. Um, you know, he doesn't grab that by hand. That, that would be uncouth. They should do, like, a documentary, like, one day in the life of Bardolf or something like that. I think that would uh, I'd, well, I'd watch. be interesting. And you gotta get you got to get through... Um, uh, you know, Bart in, through the gates into Bardistan first, though. <laughs> Listen, I think it could work. Got to get through the border control, and he's got to be—he's got a pretty high wall over there. I'm sure, but you know, we'll talk him into it one of these days. We'll make it work. Got to protect all those watches. The watches, the drones, the cheese, the honey, honey slave things he's into. He's got got many interests. But enough about Bobble. Um Fifteenth <laughs> round. Again, setting up for for some sort of a, of catwalk execute here, which I just I, I feel like they've been way more successful in B. Maybe I'm just making it up, but I feel like the B bomb site's been where they've had more success, and I feel like they keep sort of trying to pressure this uh, this this catwalk point a little bit. They were waiting around this time, obviously, for for Saibu, I'm assuming to show up, and he never did. So I still think that's okay. That's not such a bad use of time, but they just didn't get what they wanted. So now. What's the plan here? They can't just keep running out of time. Again, they've had a, a bunch of rounds that are really, really low on time because they're waiting for these battles that they're not getting from Italian. Look at us pushing out long. It's RPK. Walking up right behind, and that is annoying. He's going to get that one huge double. Oh, and he's just going to continue. What a machine. He's just picking them up left and right. He was completely unfazed by the fact that they were just coming at it from multiple angles. And he'll get a quad kill to shut down the half. Nine, six, RPK with a fantastic finish to this whole ordeal. Of course. Yes, of course. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, that, I guess that's like a universal trick or something. Interesting. Well, learning definitely something. I don't know. I, I'm, kind of, I'm kind of lukewarm on watermelon, watermelon in general. I think raspberries are where it's at. Raspberries? Yeah. Yeah. That's 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 where that's all I want. Raspberries I can get behind you on that one, dude. Well You know I love gonna be blowing a raspberry in just a second. <laughs> Zywoo. What I love more than raspberries are headshots. There we go. See if we can get some of those. Seriousness here. They need this round. Run boost. He's got so much speed behind that, but it doesn't even matter. Oh, and Keto with a good lineup. And he's going to take down Cyber. What a well played round. I think all of those were headshots. Big, not even allowing Vitality to step a foot into that round. That was great. That was brutal. Definitely not the pistol round that Vitality were waiting for. And um, maybe less chatty chatty, uh, more shooty shooty. From uh, Vitality, there was definitely, they kind of let their focus drift a little bit during that downtime in the break. Yeah, I still like the, I still appreciate the run boost. I think those are always fun. And again, I do think most of the time of, of these pistol rounds is being slight coin flips. I don't know, there's a movement to get them removed entirely, which I, I, I don't know. Too early for me to say, but I do think they are a little bit like a coin flip half the time, these, uh, these pistol rounds. So, yeah. This time it did not work out for Vitality. They've picked up three Deagles, a Tech-9, and a Scout. And now I'm sure they are hoping for a mistake from Big. They would, I mean, they're sort of waiting in all the common positions for someone to walk forward. It doesn't look like they're going to get any of that. They get nothing. Well, eventually they're going to come and try and take it, aren't they? So... Big was waiting. I mean, Big was really spending a lot of time on their CT side. Oh, sorry, on their T side waiting for a reaction from Vitality. Very often so much so that when they actually went for a bomb site, it was sort of all or nothing. They really had to win all the fights to make it work. So, mm -hmm. hoping Vitality don't leave it quite that late, because that is risky. And they're already going. Once again, able to drop down. Oh, Searson hitting all the shots though. Double headshot with the scout. Opens it up for his teammates to press forward. A lot of damage getting dealt out for RBK on the flank. Takes down Tijan, and RBK takes Tavson as well. Man advantage now for Vitality. I don't think Tizian was able to call out that he was getting shot at the back because he was flashed at the same time. So that's why RBK could get that second kill as well. That is incredible because that made such a difference. Now surely they must know Apex is going to get that one kill. And now M4 on Keto. He's trying for the headshot. He's going to be able to take down RBK. And what a spin! Turning around. 
full 180 to drop Apex, and they barely win that round. Wow, wow, that was a sick clutch. There we go. That's exactly the amount of respect you show. But, dude, it feels good, man. When you hit that headshot on the guy camping pit, I mean, you know you've got the round at that point. Yeah. You got it in the bag, because that's the hard one. The other one is just going to be on the site. But as soon as he gets this kill right here, that's wild. That he takes an RPK like that. The timing is Monster. unbelievable. Monster. And you can see uh, clear frustration on the behalf of uh, Vitality. I mean, that's, uh, that's definitely working against them. And so, we will have the AWP in the hands of Searson now. It is going to be the force by coming in here from Vitality. That was a bit too close for comfort for them. So, they really want to try and continue to take the fight to Big. Do not let Big establish a bank. But Big are one round away from tying it up. 9-8, to eight, Vitality in the lead on the T side. Big Clan, three players clearing out short. But with that flash on long, I think they wanna, they're want to. they getting the sense that this is going to be on the other side of A. <laughs> Instant headshot. I can't believe it was that quick. He'll get another one. It's uh, the AK that's in play right now. For he just did that almost instantaneously. Apex also with a headshot of his own with a scout. Just have some fighting back. Great grenade and a great follow-up M4 kill. And suddenly it was a 2-on-3 into a 1-on-2. Apex now alone, but they actually had a pretty big advantage to their vitality for uh, for at least a couple of seconds, so big looking to see if they can bring this one back. If this round is still worth it for vitality, no matter what. They got the bomb plant, they've got three kills, that's still so much pressure and damage, <clears throat> but they couldn't quite win it. Done and dusted. Do where's uh, Where did the op die? Is there an op? There we go, taps and All right. Yeah. Oh, that was the first kill side we got, I guess. Fair play. Yeah, so it didn't look like Searson was able to get much out of it. But uh, as you save the op, you get an AK. And Big Clan now tied up 9 to 9, letting that corpse know who's boss. And well, now, I mean, they're setting themselves up for success in the second half. They could very well run away with this. CT side does too, has a way of just chaining together. If you if one thing goes right, you can, you can keep that momentum moving your way. It's very hard to break. The same way that if nothing is working for you on the CT side of Dust 2, it feels like it's just a, it's an impossible game and you just want to un uninstall. So right well, now it's looking good for Big, at least. Yeah, but they are right on the edge. I mean, the fact that they keep almost losing those rounds mm -hmm. and, and losing a bunch of players in the mix, I think that's why, why Vitality just keeping the pressure up here. Keep buying, keep, keep getting kills. And that's a solid strategy as long as, long as you remember to call it off when... You when you stop doing the damage, right? If you get three, if you get three kills or more per round, then probably in this economy, and especially if you get bomb plants, it's worth keep. It's worth, worth to just keep going. But if suddenly it's just one kill and you still keep doing it and you can't quite make a, a, a real buy happen, I would say it's a bit questionable, really. Nineteenth round, and um, we do have some smokes and some flashbangs. And they're seeing if they can make it out long. Down in pit waiting is Tizian. He's got some backup over there at uh, at long as well in Citizen, I think. But he's going to go down before he can even touch the radio and call for help. So that's at least helpful that Shocks went down as well. I think Santara's won that fight. Citizen's going to go for the shot, but Cyber was really quick to respond. Now a two on a three. About 40 seconds left in Apex. That's a huge kill. Just, I mean, dangerous as well for Apex to jump up on the ledge like that. Tough one for Searson, though. Just oversteps it ever so slightly. And now Keto has an opportunity here before they figure out where he is. Ah, he had to hit that headshot. If he gets that instant headshot, he can focus on RPK. Now he should be getting peaked. If they peak at all, they peak together and he dies. And he's realizing that and he's decided to back off and save the AK for the next round, which I think is the correct call. There's no way you're taking that over. No, and with the money that they have, again, because of that pressure from earlier. Yeah. That AK is going to be... Even more so, you're right. Super valuable. All right. 10 to 9. Big, probably... I don't know if they would want to force. I would consider that a huge risk. Tabson and Searson are going to be the only ones that can sort of... Maybe, like, some Famasas plus the AK, but I just don't think it's worth it. Tough call to make. I can understand why they would want to, maybe they want to try and put on some pressure to Vitality again, but I mean, right now it seems like the French are the one that are really taking control of the game. Wow, they are going to buy into the round. <laughs> just don't stop. I don't think either of these teams has ecoed yet. <laughs> they just keep buying. They just keep going. 
no pressure, no, no, like no release of pressure here. They just want to keep it ratcheted up. Whoever's going to start chaining rounds together is going to get nasty. That's big at the start, but now it's Vitality. Nice flash to force Apex off the corner. And the, wow, the little details, Anders. I think that you think that Apex is going to make it away, but no, perfect HE to hunt them down. And that was being thrown while the, the sort of the primary guy around the corner was, was actually taking the fight. So I think they were going to throw that grenade no matter what. Um, might as well just queue it up. Not bad at all. That was sick. Apex going down will secure them another rifle, so they could definitely they could definitely need it. Right, so they have a lot of time to make up their minds about what they want to do, but sometimes when you lose a, a guy early on in, in a fight like this, when you know you've you've economically reset the other team, or at least you think you have, sometimes teams just completely slow down so much that it actually becomes a problem. So I hope I tell you aren't gonna fall for that. Oh, Saw the shadow, but just a weird little timing on that peak for Nivira will be quite enough to bring down Tizian. And now they're going to go up long, and they're not going to be slow about it. I like this from Vitality. They, uh, they, we do see even top teams sometimes mind game themselves into playing so slowly in, in rounds like these that it becomes a, a bit of an issue. Double HE, one of them already used right there. Shocks will get a headshot in the meantime. And Centaurus has the other one, but it looks like there will be a bomb plant here. 25 seconds less. Nivira are going to get another kill, taking down Taps. And now two versus four. In a good position. Just Keto alone is a great spray down. Almost could have continued it, but there was a lot of people on the other side of that smoke. Mm -hmm. And now they surely will eco. Perhaps. I mean, this would... <laughs> it would be crazy if you go for an eco, if you go for a more style. At some point, you gotta tap out, and Vitality have now put you into that box. They really, they really definitely should not be, ah. be going for it. Okay. Tactical timeout called by Big Clan now. All right. Interesting. Good stuff, Shoxy. Stay hydrated. Everybody at home, hope you're drinking your water. That is uh, important, people say. For good reason. For good reason. Yeah. I was uh I was just teasing slightly earlier uh, a story about Apex. Like, I, so I remember do tell. Yeah, I remember this is back in like 2014 or something. We were playing down in Cologne and Apex had a, a really terrible map in a best of three, you know, just heavily underperforming. And the whole team obviously goes outside, they end up losing that map and they, they all go outside and Apex just goes, you know, talks a little bit with the team and then he goes off on his own and basically says like, you know, I know that I screwed this up and I, I need to sort of mentally refocus. And he came back and played the next map really well. So like, it was like, you know, taking essentially responsibility for the fact that a lot of that loss was on me. Mm. I need to deal with that and get myself back in the game. I thought that's that's a great mentality, so. Uh, he's always had that mentality of the winner. I think it always helps that they've had, um, he's played under Nyak as well. Yeah, and like had that know. early professionalism in there. Yeah, you get that, you get that sort of, Exactly, the professionalism in there, it makes all the difference. Oh. That's why it's always blown my mind that the French team just disintegrates. But Vitality so far looking good. And there's Shoxy. That's the MAC-10 in play, takes down uh, Searson, bonus money in the pocket, near kill on RPK, that was a close one. But we will get a 12th round on the board for Team Vitality now. T side looking very good. Nine rounds for Big Clan. And after that, oh man, kick in the pants sort of scenario. Another round of pistols for them. That's why that force up earlier is so tough because otherwise they definitely would have had a full buy round and they nearly could have had one here. That's actually really hard to deal with. On the other hand, if, um, if the audience will allow it, maybe I'll return to some of the criticism we were having of, of many other teams throughout the first couple of days here at Blast Premier, which is playing CT side and not really putting that much pressure on the, on the tees and where they can set up. We haven't really seen too much pressure coming in from Big in terms of... And it, it, it can really be not that much. It could be flashing your way into to look at Catwalk every once in a while, you know, set up for like a pop flash, go check, even if no one's there. Likely, they'll hear it. They'll know that you looked. You have to go, like, you have to probably have to go back and clear it out yourself. Like, right. it's just small things. But as far as I can tell, Big are doing none of that at the moment. I think, well, they've been aggressive out long, like, all the way down the doors when they had a Deagle there. That's, like, the most forward I think they've been so far. Haven't seen anything else. I mean, and if you want to take it even further, you know, rush into lower dark from middle. I mean, sometimes you can do that and you can you can get away with a, with a kill. And 
doing that once means from that round on, Vitality have to respect the fact that they have to pay more attention to where you are. Right now, Vitality, no, they're not going to come. We can just set up and it's fine. Don't give them that luxury. They're taking full advantage as well. Full smoke wall through the CT spawn now, cutting this map in half as far as Big Clan are concerned. And Big Clan's reaction to this, pushing it up or dark. I like Confirm. it. Confirm. Is this going to be B? Is this going to be A? And it's looking like with, I mean, the further Keto lo gets along here, the more information he gains, the clearer it becomes that this is in fact going to be an A hit. And yeah, he's been spotted. Vitality know the game is up and they have to get going. Oh, they're going to crack. They're worried that there's a huge stack that, that, you know, the information means there's a big one, but there's only 15 seconds. Make a call right now and just go for it. This, this shuffling back and forth is absolute death. Apex and Shox and Nivira each getting a kill. Eight seconds, and they're going to go for the bomb plot. They managed to pull themselves out, but you can tell there was a minute there. And I, they obviously think when they get spotted that, oh, dear, if, if they knew, maybe four of them are at A and we shouldn't go there. Yeah. So they start to fall back, and then they, you know, reverse that because they look at the time and think, well, but maybe not. And I can understand why, but making a clean call in that moment, like just no hesitation, that is absolute key. So they just barely saved themselves there. You must commit, Anders. Yes. As soon as the call is made, you just got to go. I've uh, been trying to to make this a popular Counter-Strike type saying. I don't know. It, I'm sure someone else has thought of this. Someone smarter than me. But, you know, I think full commitment to a slightly worse plan is better than, than doubting the best plan, basically. Sure. Um, so... I think that, that that's so evident in Counter Strike. If you watch enough games, you could you could really start to see it. That you, even if you thought you know that you have an, an amazing plan in mind, like yeah, but if if you execute it with only sort of eighty percent confidence, that is not going to be nearly as good as just you know doing something in the moment and everyone focusing on that and being all on board with it. it takes time as a team though to build to build that kind of respect and to you know. Got to have respect in your leader as well. You got to make sure that everyone knows that if that's the call, that's what we're doing. 23rd round, and it's a 13 to 9 scoreline. RBK, that's an important kill. Only one guy defending the bomb site, and Nivira is coming in. Actually, RBK takes care of it. He was low on health from the first fight, and he still managed to do it. Again, RBK is just such a character. He keeps getting these rounds where. He's getting unlikely headshots, and even if he's low on health, but <coughs> again, it's not super flashy, but he just does it you know, round for round, another double kill, another, like, he's so consistent. Exactly. That's always, that's like his job. It's in the contract. You're not going to take over anymore, RPK, but you yeah. are going to deliver, like, a frag around. And that's what we've been saying since the beginning with uh, with RPK, where it's just like, if, if an in-game leader can count on you to get a frag around, <laughs> he'll take you every day of the week. Yeah. He can have that superstar who sometimes is just going to take over a map, but if he can count on you and he can rely on you, he can build a strategy where he knows you're consistently going to get a frag. Yeah, in-game leader is going to love that. So that's oh, why you I, take that every time. Take that every time. The consistency is key. And RPK, I mean, he, <laughs> ooh, he actually got so that. Solid. He got that kill. <laughs> that's so ridiculous. All right, fourteen to nine. It just he was just. Just getting a bit too curious, just peeking out, saying, "Hi guys." That's smart. That's yeah, chuckle. That chuckle. Yeah. That chuckle from him. Yeah. He knows he got him. Ooh, nicely done there by Zyro. That's gotta be annoying. They are at the end of the uh, end of the rope here. Big, nice headshot to take down Searson, and they don't have any head armor at all. They are in. They're in, in deep trouble right now, Big. If they lose this round, yeah, they're going to have the round loss bonus to work with, but that is not going to be quite enough. So I actually think they have to win it. And Shox is he's stealing that AWP, isn't he? He's making sure that they cannot go and pick it up. I think yeah, he's running it back. Now he's back to pick up the AK. <laughs> it's petty, isn't it? It's clever. I like it. Clever as well, yeah. yeah you know what? It's just a tension. We've got time. And that's going to bait Tabson in. Now we're getting the push from Zunteras because, again, they've been very aggressive in upper halls. But Ty Team Vitality have just been focusing on short this entire time. And Shark's essentially saying to Zunteras, to, uh, to Tabs, and then there is an AK here for you if you want. But it's in my hand. So. <laughs> You're I'm not going to like it. They're already backing off. And imagine that. Imagine you have, to, you have to essentially give up on a round that will put the other team into into the, the map point. Dude, Vitality are looking fantastic. Yes. I mean, I'm not really... It's it's just a very f strong focus on Catwalk, but it's working for them. Clearly, they've identified the weak spot in the big defense, and they just keep exploiting it round after round. So, Antares finds Shoxy, so he gets revenge for his fallen teammate. 
Yeah, and I mean, Sirson was actually trying to be forward this time, although he was also alone in doing that. It's well, Apex is gonna find one right there. It's not like they were, um, you know, he wasn't being boosted up to look into lower. There a lot of things missing in that sense. Mm. Another rifle taken away. Even if they lose every single member of their team here, Vitality hunting down the, the remaining members, it'll be worth it. It's absolutely fine, because they have so much money. In fact, they should be buying a lot of AWP. Shoot down the middle. Let's go. Yeah, just do it. Auto snipers and everything. Just do it. Buy an M249 or whatever it is. Just get it all out there. You see, Anders, this is not matchmaking. But it could be. It could be. They were, uh, you could use matchmaking tactics. If they would just, you know, entertain us. But that would just be the most ballsy, you know, disrespect, right? I know. That's, that's what I want. That's what I'm here for. Ooh. Interesting. Zywood does not get a kill there. That was full focus mid right there for Big Clan. Three players, but now they're going to rotate off. Two players back over towards B. It's 15 9 map point for Vitality on the T side, looking very good. And well, now we will get Big Clan just spreading back out again. All across the map, defense going to reestablish itself. They're going to get that boost up on a catwalk, and they're, they're going to start maneuvering. See, they don't know that Keto is there at the moment. They're going to throw Molotov anyway, which I'm assuming someone will, th you know, put out. Oh, he's going to back on out of there, saving the smoke. He did have one, but I, I can respect that. The smoke obviously gives away the fact that he is there. I'm sure they'll still check it once again. That's nearly a kill. Now Keto's going to get one. So now they definitely know, and he's ready for a nice flick to take down Nivira. There's some great plays coming out. We've seen some really great uh, couple of highlights out of Keto so far in this match, so they desperately need that at the moment. Five versus three, 50 seconds. Big should not be letting go of this round under any circumstances. Now it makes so much sense to play passively. Now you can absolutely defend doing that. But now they're not. You know, that's not happening. I mean, Zai was still alive, dude. And so long as uh, Zai was still here. And you still got RPK, Mr. Reliable. So, let's see. RPK. Oof, Straight down. Hits the headshot. Gets traded, but that creates the opening. Now there's a man alone here on this B site. Apex charging the doors. Flash coming through. I was going to get in here, and oh, unfortunately for them, they have no idea where... Oh, Zai! Whoa! <laughs> Hits the headshot! <laughs> I need to see that kill. Apex oh. is going to be taken down, but outside with one versus two. They're coming in through the door already, and nice shot from Tabs, and no fear at all in that one. Keeps they, the pressure. Yep, yeah, definitely, definitely does. That's going to be another round of peace. They needed that to stay alive. They need another five in a row after that, but... um. I'd really like to see how he... Did he just walk in the door? I mean, it, it seemed like he was there so quick. Yeah. From having thrown the initial flashbang, I think, for Apex. That was six rounds in a row for uh, Vitality, though. Three rounds at the beginning for Big. Yeah. yeah oh, just, right, all right. He just, just walked bold. In. Just went bold. Good Ball timing. In. Well, 26th round. And um, we'll see. And big keep the dream alive and get it into overtime. I actually think if they get it into overtime, it'll be very interesting because I'm sure Vitality will feel a lot of frustration if that happens. Mm -hmm. They must be thinking this is a done deal. We're on to the next map. Timing not at all with uh, with Nivira there. I don't know. It looked like he had plenty of time to see that someone was there. Interesting. Looks can be deceiving. I guess so. Oh, down under the man early on, spotting a couple of people in the middle, and yeah, Tamson, that's not that's not what you want. I think it's just that the, the, the level now is becoming so high that the angle of your peak is just so important, because that fraction of a second. Because Nivera, because he's peaking, you know, uh, right to left, Yeah, he's going to see, even if he gets out there, he's going to see Keto later than Keto will see him. And that fraction of a second now is just, it's a lifetime. It's too much of an advantage at the pro level. Uh, these guys just can't, you can't do it, right? Or it's very, very hard. You need to catch them sleeping. And so that's probably what happened there. But Vitality are going to be able to work their way up onto that A site. Bomb is planted. RBK waiting for the flank. Going to get it. No problem at all. And has no idea that he is open right now. But that sets it up for Apex. Yeah, but this is a huge problem because Ikido, he's worried about getting shot in the back and for good reason. So the fact that RPK gets that kill means one of the players trying to retake now has to worry about his own flank in the meantime. 
And the bomb is just ticking away. Cyro could have been killed already. I don't know. They must have seen him. He's going to get a shot anyway. Taking down Sirson, who had no head armor. And now Kido, some desperate jump shots. I don't think this is going to work out at all. And he misses the last chance that he had. I think it's definitely done here. Vitality is going to get a 16th round. There's nothing that Kido could do about it. 16 to 10 as the French take down big on the first map with the best of three. There's much more to come, obviously. But um, they look so solid on this Dust 2 map here. That is a bit of a statement being sent because they were pretty good on it yesterday as well. So, um, yeah, a lot of excitement and for good reason as well. We're going to go to a break before we set it to the desk. So stay tuned and we'll be right back.